A federal civil rights complaint is being filed against IBM. The complaint was filed yesterday with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission by America First Legal in response to a new leaked internal video obtained by investigative journalist James O'Keefe from a whistleblower at the company who is inspired by billionaire Elon Musk telling Disney and other powerful figures to F off if they think they can blackmail him with money. The video appears to show the CEO of IBM, a man named Arvind Krishna, demanding that all managers below him racially discriminate against whites and, whites and Asians in the hiring process or else face their own repercussions at work. Take a listen. So we take underrepresented and gender. You've got to move both forward by a percentage. That leads to a plus on your bonus. By the way, if you lose, you lose part of your bonus. I'm not trying to finesse this. So for blacks, we should try to get towards 13 point something percent. On Hispanics, you got to get into the mid-teens. So let me say it, Asians in the U.S. are not an underrepresented minority in a tech company. James O'Keefe here outside of IBM's corporate headquarters in Armonk, New York. An IBM insider has provided us with an internal video showing the CEO of IBM, Arvind Krishna, using coercion to fire people and take away their bonuses unless they discriminate in the hiring process. Let me go deeper in the red hat. Multiple leaders over the last year plus that were held accountable to the point that they're no longer here at Red Hat because they weren't willing to live up to the standards that we set in this space. This conversation takes place every single day and in a lot of it's behind the scenes they terminated executives that didn't discriminate yet another violation of title 7 one of the biggest companies in the world one of the most valuable and recognizable brands on earth O'Keefe also notes that Krishna sits on the boards of Northrop Grumman and the Federal Reserve Bank of New York leaving me to ask the obvious how far does the racial discrimination go are these entities likewise affected by what IBM is pushing from the top down but perhaps even more important for our purposes here tonight is this other curious little fact that O'Keefe points out. He posted on X after his video caught the attention of Elon Musk that IBM was one of the advertisers that pulled their dollars out of his social media platform by pompously claiming that IBM had zero tolerance for hate speech and discrimination and we have immediately suspended all advertising on X. And yet, lo and behold, the only company openly promoting racial discrimination appears to be IBM and not X. Funny how that always seems to work with the left. They accuse us, Saul Alinsky style, of what they are guilty of themselves. And speaking of that whole kerfuffle between X and its advertisers over fake and perhaps even made up claims that X was putting ads next to white supremacist content, the Missouri Attorney General is now joining Texas and opening its own investigation into the far left rag that appears to be behind much of the scandal. Media Matters. Missouri AG Andrew Bailey writes in his letter to the president and CEO of Media Matters, quote, we have reason to believe Media Matters used fraud to solicit donations from Missourians in order to trick advertisers into pulling out of X, the last platform dedicated to free speech in America. Radicals are attempting to kill X because they cannot control it. And we are not going to let Missourians get ripped off in the process. I'm fighting to ensure progressive tyrants masquerading as news outlets cannot manipulate the marketplace in order to wipe out free speech, end quote. Amen to that. And joining us now to discuss is the man himself, Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey. Thanks for being here tonight. Thanks for having me on and for covering this important story. Great. So let's focus in on that first part that you write, that your office has reason to believe that Media Matters may have fraudulently solicited donations from residents in your state to go after X and Elon Musk. Can you explain some of this for us? Yeah, certainly. Look, Media Matters is a 501c3. It's a radical progressive advocacy group. It is not a news organization. And so when they're soliciting charitable contributions, they need to be up front with the purposes that that money is going to be used for. And if it's in violation of their uh, the, the, the documents that, that form the organization, then that can be a violation of the law and can be a deceptive practice under state statute. And so we're going to launch an investigation to get to the bottom of it for, to protect Missourians. But I would also point out that at the end of the day, what you've got here is a 501c3 that's manipulating a marketplace, that's trying to bully advertisers into pulling off of X so that X will collapse because they don't like free speech in America. But why are they doing that? Who benefits from that? And if there's some level of conspiracy to form a combination of uh, combination and restraint of trade, that can also be an antitrust issue. And so this investigation is important to protect Missourians and ultimately protect the last platform dedicated to free speech in America.